happened. Oh. Nearly three months after surviving that attempt on his life, with those images of blood on his face and his fist in the air, former President Trump is returning to Butler, Pennsylvania this weekend. I have an obligation to go back to Butler. We never finished what we were supposed to do. Back then, rally goers watched in horror as the gunman climbed onto an unsecured rooftop and opened fire. A scathing Senate investigation later detailed massive security failures by the Secret Service. About 100 yards behind me is the building from where the gunman took shots at former President Trump. Last time around, people could get pretty close to Mr. Trump from outside the rally perimeter. This time around, we can't get anywhere near the area. In fact, they're even putting up, you can see these shipping containers that are blocking line of sight from outside the rally perimeter. Tonight, the Secret Service telling NBC News they've made comprehensive changes and enhancements and that the former president is receiving heightened protection. Joining Trump Saturday, the family of Corey Comperator, the firefighter dad who was killed. Back then, I spoke to Dr. Joseph Maine, who rushed over to help. The man was definitely killed instantaneously. A moment he says he can't forget. Them bringing the body down where I saw that stick with me to the end of my life. Do you think you're going to go? Yes. Why? I refuse to be terrorized to the point where I feel like I'm only safe at home. Also returning, mother and son, Donna and Joe Hutz. I knew my son was scared to death because he was holding my hand. He had held my hand since he was probably five or six years old. How are you two going to support each other through this? Hold hands? <laughs> I don't know. How are you doing now? I'm doing a lot better. I ended up in trauma therapy. If the way I described it to my therapist, I says, I can't get out of the bleachers. They hope to turn a weekend of tragedy into a time of healing. You're not going to scare us away from the rallies. You're just... Defiance. You don't get to win. Dasha Burns, NBC News, Butler, Pennsylvania. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.